Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. And today, you know, I'm coming at you with another sad video. You know, as I'm sure as all you guys know already, yesterday, Michael Clark Duncan passed away at the age of 54. Very, very shocking news to me. Very, very sad news. Michael Clark Duncan was a great actor. He was a great human being. He, he was just a huggable... He was a teddy bear, a huggable teddy bear, you know, and that's what a lot of people described him as, you know, just a very down-to-earth, very warm man, very uh, loving individual, and for someone at the, that young of an age who was just a wonderful person to just pass away is very, very sad news. Um, you know, the saying, only the good die young, you know, and also, you know, the people that deserve to live, you know, a long, fruitful life never do, while the people who don't deserve to live long always do, you know, and it, it, this sucks, you know, I understand, you know, I know he had a heart attack, and I heard he was getting better, but I guess he, he wasn't getting better that much, and that ultimately, you know, is what, is what caused his death, but, you know, very, very sad news, I'm very, uh, distraught by this, you know, I've always enjoyed Michael Clark Duncan's work. I mean, he was he was in Armageddon, The Green Mile, you know, um, Cats and Dogs. He did one of the voice of the characters, The Whole Nine Yards. You know, he did The Kingpin in Daredevil. You know, he was in The Scorpion King. He was on the, the Spider-Man CGI series as The Kingpin. He repri reprised his role. Uh, he was in Sin City. Um... Talladega Nights, I always remember him from Talladega Nights, School for Scoundrels, uh, Kung Fu Panda, you know, he was on, he did a lot of guest spots on television shows, he played Balrog in the in the, the Street Fighter Legend of Chung Lee, it wasn't a great movie, but, you know, he did a good job, uh, he did the voice of Kilowog and Green Lantern, um, you know, he was in the original Friday, he had a, a, a very small part in Friday, he was, I just watched him in Back in Business, which is a Brian Bosworth movie. He has a, he has a, a role as a thug in that. He doesn't have any lines, but that was one of his first movies. But everybody remembers him from The Green Mile and uh, Armageddon. I think that character was very memorable. And Daredevil, you know, everybody remembers him from Daredevil. But, you know, once again, another, another tragic loss in Hollywood this year. You know, like I've said in these past couple of videos where I'm, I'm paying my respects to these individuals... You know, just, you know, a lot of the people that have passed away this year, you would never expect. And look at Michael Clark Duncan. He was only 54 years old. He was just, he was just beginning, you know, his life, really. I mean, he was, I don't know. It's just very upsetting. And it, it's, I'm very distraught, to be honest with you. I mean, I just watched Daredevil uh, last week, you know, and it's just... It's just terrible whenever you hear this kind of thing. It's always terrible. You know, and this, like I said, this whole month, or not month, I'm sorry, this whole year has just been terrible for, for celebrities that have passed away. You know, and it's just, I don't know, it's just very, it, it's disturbing. I, I really think it's disturbing in a way. Um, you know, I'm look, oh, I didn't know this. Reading one line here, he was actually a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist. I was not aware of that until right now. Wow, I did not know he studied martial arts. It's awesome. But let's look at the. Uh, I think here's the. Yeah, let's look at just some of the. Reading over some of the the deaths, of of celebrities, of actors, of people you know that you would recognize. Um, I'm just looking here. There's a lot of... I'm looking at Wikipedia. There's a lot of names on here. Um, people who aren't even actors. But... Looking through here... See, they don't have, like, by actor, by musician. It's just all together. So I'm just trying to look through. Uh, Mel Stewart. Mel Stewart passed away. The director of um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I forgot about that. 
Um, uh, Carlo Rambadol, uh, Ram, Rambaldi, sorry, he did, was the Italian special effects artist. He he created E.T. He worked on Aliens, or the first Alien. I'm sorry, he worked on Alien. But you know, Sage Stallone, you know, once again, um, Phyllis Diller passed away. Um, I'm just looking here. Sorry, I'm just looking through some of these names here. Um, excuse me. Tony Scott. I completely forgot. Tony Scott passed away. Um, just a lot of people. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look anymore. But you know, a lot of people that, like I said, Dick Clark. You know, passed away this year. You know, people that you wouldn't think have passed away. People who you think would have. You know, all their, their cards in order, you know, and, you know, would just be fine and, and nothing, you know, nothing would be wrong with them. And then all of a sudden, the, it happens, you know. And, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, you should live every day like your last, you know, you should, you should always, you know, be aware that the fact that you could die at any moment. And I know a lot of people believe that, but I really don't believe that, you know, that's just me. I really just believe that. You know, you just walk your own path in life. You know, you do good, and you know, you do your thing. You know, you don't you don't mess with people. You don't bother people. You know, you just maintain honesty and respect and courtesy, and you just you walk your own path, and good things will happen. You know, so I don't really believe in that. You know, you know, every day should be your last. You know, I believe every day is a gift you know, live to the fullest every day, but I don't think you should feel that every day, you know, you might die. But, you know, once again, just very, very sad news. Um, just very, to me, very, very sad news. Um, just, once again, I just, very uh, unbelievable to me, unbelievable. Um, something, you know, that you wouldn't expect so soon, so young. But, you know, that's life. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this small tribute to Michael Clark Duncan, to all his fans and friends and family out there. My heart, you know, and my, my uh, prayers go out with you. I hope, you know, that, you know, he, I know he's in a better place and he's watching down on all of us, you know. I mean, he's, one thing I've always, you know, remember, I know he does it in, like, every movie, that laugh. You know, I, I always remember that laugh he does because it's pretty, it's pretty distinct, you know, it's pretty pretty recognizable laugh so i know he's probably just laughing right now he's probably with some friends you know just hanging out having a good time so you know once again michael clark duncan may you rest in peace and to all his admirers and fans and family uh, sorry you know you have my heart and my prayers and i hope that you can get through this difficult time but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later peace